King Jesus, King Jesus. Uh, I'm doing a story about uh, this young black man in St. Paul, Minnesota, who killed cops, tried to murder, probably was trying to pick up his kids from school. I mean, the only reason they didn't murder him because he screamed so loud, said uh, security was called on Chris Lawley after he refused to leave a private area in downtown St. Paul. But he, but he argued, no signs indicated that it was a private area. The cops followed him towards the school where he was picking up his kids to ask him his name, but he insisted he had nothing to do with him and he didn't do anything wrong. The video shows them forcing him on the ground where they tased him as the school, as the school children and teachers looked on. The charges was against him have been dropped and he is considered, he is considering suing. But head of the police federation said he was acting like a jerk. So they, they, they were gonna kill him. It says, it says a shocking video has shown the moment a father of two was tased by police and arrested for refusing to give his name as he waited to pick up his kids after school. I don't know why you have to give your name to the police. You have the right to remain silent, really. Christopher Lolly, 28, was arrested after the incident in St. Paul, Minnesota on January 31st. But after witness statements and the video, they have now dropped the charges, he said. Lolly was sitting near his children's school after working an overnight cleaning shift when a security guard approached him and told him to move because it was a private area. Not seeing any signs indicating it, this, Lolly refused and the security guard called police, the Pioneer Press reported. As Lolly got up and headed to the school, officers arrived and caught up with him. On the video taken on his cell phone, which he says he only got back recently after it was confiscated by the police, Lolly can be heard calmly asking why they need his name as he walked. When a female officer later identified as Lori Hand refused to say what he has done wrong and repeatedly asked for his name, he responded, the problem is I'm black. I didn't do anything wrong. Moments later, he's apparently knocked to the ground and the footage goes dark, but he can be heard screaming for help as he is held on the ground. One of the officers orders him to put his hands behind his back, otherwise it's going to get ugly. He claims that police tased him, put their hands on his throat, and ripped his pocket, his jacket open. Police Chief Thomas Smith explained in a statement that police had responded to a report of Lolly trespassing in the, in the private area and had attempted to talk to him, but he wouldn't cooperate. In their report, police said Lolly had been actively resisting by attempting to pull his arm away and began to forcefully try to shove past us as we was pulling away from him and, and he was pulling away from us. When he was becoming uncontrollable, they used the taser on him, the report said. They used the force necessary to safely take him into custody, Smith's statement said. David Titus, a St. Paul Police Federation president, added these three cops in the Skyway. You couldn't get nice individuals. This guy was acting like a jerk. Lolly was charged with trespassing, disorderly conduct, and obstructing the legal process. But all counts were dismissed on July 31st after Lolly's attorney showed the video and witness statements in court. He told the Pioneer Press that when the police approached him, he tried hard to remain calm. Because I know if I did do anything outside of these bounds, they could really do some damage to me. They was going to kill you. <laughs> you just don't know it. He said it was heartbreaking knowing that some of his four-year-old daughter's friends and teachers 
had seen the altercation. One of the kids in the class that saw what happened later said, when I saw them doing that to Alina's dad, it made my heart feel so sad, Lolly said. He said he is considering a lawsuit. But this is crazy. Why do they always have to, you know, try to prove themselves on a black man? Here's a picture of Lolly with his daughter. And you, and you can see from these pictures that he loves his kids. You can't even be a father if you're black in America. It's crazy, ain't you? Okay, here's the video. These police are stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. They act like they have no ability to understand anything.
Yeah, they gay. They like grabbing niggas dick. Killers of black people. 